Gitu. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, continuing the topic of thanatology, now we will discuss lead changes after death. Lead changes as putrefaction. The body ultimately decomposes. This decomposition of the living creature is ultimate fate. Putrefaction may arrest at any stage and it modifies into other conditions like mummification or adiposeer. These delayed changes provide certain diagnosis of death and its progression tells and helps us in estimation of time after death. So putrefaction is the disintegration of organic tissue into inorganic tissue by different processes. It is one of the late signs of death. Putrefaction begins virtually when the rigor mortis ceases and usual average time after 36 to 72 hours this process of decomposition starts in the dead body. So this conversion of organic to the inorganic stage, we will name different stages of putrefaction. This decomposition or dissolution of the body tissues into, it may be into gases, it may be into liquids or residual tissue and salts. So this is the surest sign of death. It occurs in two ways. The first mechanism is by autolysis, self-destruction without bacteria or microorganisms. The other mechanism is bacterial action due to microorganisms. Autolysis leads to liquefaction and softening of the tissues under the sterile conditions. A bacteria without bacteria. So it is brought about by the enzymes as lysozymes after death. It can be prevented by the process of freezing. The other major action is action of the bacteria. So after death, 
most of the bacteria which normally present in the body invade the tissues blood and bacteria in the medium they cause putrefaction or decomposition so the common bacteria is the clostridium welshi along with the other bacterial groups so if the death occurs due to some infection septicemia or any bacterial or infectious disease the putrefaction onset and course is highly rapid so microorganisms are out of control they multiply become virulent enter the blood vessels and then spread throughout the body so we want to know its progression how the different signs of putrefaction we appreciate in the form of color changes production of gases pressure effects of gases then appearance of the maggots and other manifestations we will see in the different stages of putrefaction so putrefaction process is subdivided to learn in different stages so we divide it into three stages under the stage 1 we will see color changes externally greenish discoloration appear over the cecum and the flanks we will call right iliac fossa so this greenish discoloration is the first sign indicating that putrefaction has started in the body so greenish discoloration gradually spreads to whole abdomen color may change from greenish to blackish this may be due to formation of salt met hemoglobin combination of hydrogen sulfide h2s so this greenish discoloration appears on second or third day after 48 to 72 hours and it also starts on the organs of the body also so at this stage the organs which are highly vascular they putrefy early because bacteria are more 
prevalent in these organs so one condition we will see we call marbling in which veins become prominent on the chest shoulders groins that is the bluish network of the vessels so this arborescent marking of the veins we will call marbling so in cn of the vein will show that gas bubbles are present in the veins now we can also appreciate the next formation of gases so due to formation of gases one condition we call skin slip that skin of the body shows blistering slipping and ultimately this skin slip will lead to degloving as gloves are being removed from the hands and wrist so this skin slip is usually moist and different from hot water burns scalds and from anti mortem abrasions or scratches so skin from the hands and feet may peel off in the form of gloves or stockings so it is very helpful for getting fingerprints so the preservation of fingerprints we can restore the whole terminal phalanges or the whole skin which will sustain the fingerprints the other finding may be formation of blisters on the skin the blab formations due to putrid gases which emits putrid odor they burst out and leaves pink slippery surface on the skin the common gases which are produced in the body are methane ammonia hydrogen phosphate carbon dioxide which are responsible for offensive smell of putrefaction in second stage we see the other effects due to production of gases so these effects may occur in the hollow viscera in the solid viscera or below the skin so gases collect in the hollow viscera and causes 
considerable pressure leading to the allotment and bursting of the organ or the tissues so these gases increase in quantity gradually and pressure effects leads to swollen face which causes difficulty in identification so tongue may be protruded out the facial markings are not appreciable and identification of the body becomes difficult even the teeth become loose and in females bulging of the breasts may occur then distension of the abdomen we call bellotment after 2 3 days which may lead to bursting of the abdomen so bellotment may be of the face neck abdomen testes external genitalia breast etc so due to these swollen and protruded facial and body features tongue may be protruded out or abdomen may be distended even burst out with emission of gases and abdominal viscera as stomach and intestines so stomach contents come out through the mouth rectum and nasal parts then hair and nails are easily pluckable easily removable or sometimes the whole scalp is detached out along with the scalp hair so here due to gas pressure the lungs heart and stomach are also pushed upward and that conditions may lead to the allotment of the male penis scrotum and genitalia in pregnant ladies sometimes the fetus is fetus is expelled out delivered out through vagina we call post mortem delivery similarly heart may become empty due to fluidity of the blood and pressure of gases so putrefaction stages may advance and results in disintegration of the organic material into inorganic in the form of liquefaction softening and 
then expulsion of the stomach material intestinal material even the fecal matter and within 1 to 3 months the soft tissue is totally putrefied and leading to skeleton we call this stage as skeletonization so this skeletonization may become within 3 months depending upon different factors so the whole body becomes a skeleton like and then decomposition of the bones may occur within 1 to 3 years the whole body may destroy into ashes within 25 years so putrefaction of the internal organs also starts along with the external at the same time so in these with the research we can see that last organ to be putrefied in the male is the prostate and in the females non gravid uterus so in this way we will appreciate the different stages of putrefaction their time of occurrence condition of the internal organs which undergo putrefaction and we estimate time since death so its sequence or progression may be studied again the stomach intestine liver first then trachea bronchi lungs larynx then brain and spinal cord then heart kidneys bladder and voluntary muscles prostate in the last uterus in the last but if it is gravid it will putrefy first so now we can enumerate the different factors which affect these changes of putrefaction these may be different so body may be immersed in water body may be buried or maggots as flies may be attracted by the body gases so the study of rate of putrefaction depends upon different factors as exposed to the air the medium either water or the earth then the other factors may be divided into external factors and the internal factors external factors include temperature air its blow then humidity or moisture we can see then the covering of the body like clothes or the other as manner of burial and coffin and the other factors which we will calculate 
internal we call internal factors so one seeing is very important we call casper's dictum so seeing of mr casper that comments on rate of putrefaction of the dead body by keeping the temperature same in each case so according to that is almost equal for one week in air two weeks in water and other factors we can say like age condition of the body either it is fatty body emaciated body mutilated body or it also be affected by the sex and mode of death of the person either anemic by infection or by the temperature of the medium so in this way the putrefied body is examined observing the different stages and changes and signs of putrefaction we can discuss the different seasons the temperature the body flotation in water after drowning in different waters we can also study the forensic entomology in forensic entomology we will study the different maggots their cycle of life and we can estimate with the help of observing the eggs larvae pupae and the different insects and flies as blue bottle we can study with the knowledge of forensic entomology so one other important condition is maceration so maceration is special condition that is intrauterine death of the fetus so this is aseptic condition autolysis of the fetus occurs and due to this autolysis a condition can be diagnosed even on x rays so x ray of the pelvis will show that the fetus of the skull and skull bones so skull bones may be separated showing a special sign we will call spalding sign s p a u l d i n g spalding sign overlapping of the cranial bones in the macerated fetus so you may study from the books in detail the different signs of putrefaction their mechanism of progression the area involved and how much time is calculated or estimated after death thank you very much thank you so much